Whiterum, an educational establishment meant to create the future billionaires, leaders and masterminds. It's the same place where the mastermind Kiyotaka Aino Koji grew up like this. Can we also train ourselves like White Room? The answer is yes. In order to do this we have to find, in White Room what critical methods do they use to create kids like Aino Koji? How do they create and train the masterminds? So, this video is divided on 5 small chunks to teach you how to train yourself like White Room. Pain threshold is an ultimate state which leads to people to suffer greatly. You often heard about pain threshold mentioned by celebrities like Elon Musk and Kobe Bryant. So how does pain threshold helps you? You should know the more pain you get more stronger you become. For an example, take a 21 year old guy who plays video games day and night and send him in front of some thugs. You can imagine what will happen if they took a fight. On the other hand, take a guy who always does gym and suffer from intense pain almost every day and put him in that same situation. Now the game might flip. So how do you increase your pain tolerance? Try to get out from your comfort zone. Do things that makes you uncomfortable. Go outside talk to random person. Try new things. Hit the gym for one more hour. Do things that hurts. If you're getting lazy try to fight with it. Make things harder for you. The problem with humans is, they try to find the easy way out. They give up easily. They can't even sit in a place and focus for an hour. Remember, if you want to be successful you have to suffer great pain. There's no easy way out. If you want to become successful or excel at a certain thing you have to abandon unnecessary junks from your life. Sacrifice what comes in your way. You may think, there's nothing I have to sacrifice. You are wrong, you have to sacrifice scrolling through Instagram, you have to stop binging anime. Read a book instead. Our modern world is created to make us weak, keep us distracted and control us. So avoid all the unnecessary things, throw them away from your life. They are basically your enemy, they'll make you binge their anime day and night make profit from you and lead you towards a dark future, let go of things that doesn't worth doing. Get a winning mindset. In White Room they teach their students to only win. They create a winning mindset to a kid's mind by creating a certain environment. They create a win to survive situation. And we should also apply this in real life. There's competition everywhere. In school you have to do better than the other kids to stay in top. In business you have to fight with other companies to keep up your sales. You're watching this video right now and someone else might working their ass off to reach success. They might steal your place in the future leaving you behind. In order to become a successful individual you always have to compete others. Now how to get better results than others. If you want to do better you have to put more effort than your opponent. Let's say if someone practices chess 4 hours a day and you do this for 8 hours a day. Who's gonna win? Absolutely you. So try to get a winning mindset. In White Room they work super hard to not to break their students focus. They literally made a huge room with no other colors but white only for focus's sake. And I think focus plays a major role to develop students like this. The problem is, now people lacks the ability to sit in one place and focus on their work for only one hour. How can we fix this problem? How to avoid distractions? First thing you should do is whenever you're at a work, keep your phone turned off or turn on the focus mode. Smartphone is the biggest reason we procrastinate. You can also meditate to improve your focus. When you're working on something think about it intensely or a part of it that you find interesting. Because in your brain there's a neurochemical system involving acetylcholine, and it comes from these two little nuclei down in the base of the brain called the nucleus basalis. When you do something and you think about it very intensely, acetylcholine is released from basalis at the precise neuron that were involved in that behavior. Keep learning. In White Room they teach their students every single thing that's necessary to survive in this world. To keep up with any kind of circumstances we need to keep learning. So then what should we learn? Learn anything you think will help you someday. You can learn about chess strategies, you can learn about techs and you can learn about finances. There's ridiculous amount of free contents you can find online if you want to learn something new. There's YouTube with hundreds of thousands of contents. 
There's so many free websites which is providing free courses. And you can even find almost any books online for free. So if you want to learn something there's no limits. Any person can learn anything anytime for absolutely free. There's so many things you don't know you can't even imagine. There's hundreds of thousands of books you haven't read. And so many things you didn't even heard about yet to explore. Like I said before, there's competition everywhere. And if you want to win you have to become better than them so keep learning and keep exploring.